Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Mod Showcase video. We are looking at the Atlas Super Laser. Yes, this thing is absolutely magnificent, but it is very pricey to build. We have 1,250 steel plates, 250 computers, 100 motors, 50 large steel tubes, 300 metal grids, 2,000 superconductors, and 300 construction components. But my god, is this worth it? Now it does have quite a nicer look, but it's when you fire it. This thing is glorious. So I'm going to fire it right now. So I'm going to come over to this lovely panel here and shoot. And then we're going to get this sound. It's charging up. And then, fire. Look at that, that is magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. The sound effects are just glorious. So this thing does have a small catch, as in it's quite power hungry, but it does have a charge system. So you can leave it on your ship, you could leave it on your base and just let it charge up. And then when you fire it, it will only use a small amount of this, so you can basically fire it a few times. Now it's a very powerful laser, but I think it's quite fair because there is a charge up time and you do get the warning sounds, so you can avoid it. But let's test it against this space base, shall we? So I built this thing over here, which is simply the laser, and down there are a bunch of reactors and it's all connected by ladders. Because I thought that would be nice and out of the way. So I'm going to come up here. And I'm going to fire it. We get the nice charging sound. And here we go. Fire. Oh, that's glorious. And now let's see the damage it's done. Now, like all beam weapons, it generally goes in a straight line, so it might just damage the blocks, but it does go straight through these buildings. It's amazing. It's just punched a massive hole through this station. So it's not absolutely overpowered and would just wreck a base in one go. It does require a little bit of aiming, or you could do what I've done over here and just lined up a load of them. And this is what I'm going to do for the next test. So I have a lot of reactors in here because it does take quite a lot of power to charge. So I'm going to come over to here. I have six of these all ready to go. And I'm just going to make a group and fire them. So I'm going to turn myself and I'm going to aim towards the blue ship and really hope that this is going to hit. So now it's time to fire all six of these. And I'm going to use the free camera and sit over here. I have no idea what the sound's going to be like if it stacks up. It sounds like it, so it might get very loud. Come on, clunking sounds. Look at that! That's a screenshot. Ooh. It's just taking out the whole middle part of that. But that should be enough time, that's enough stalling, and it's time to fire them all. So I'm going to get into my chair. Wow. How many reactors do I have on this thing? I have just over 300 reactors, and this many super lasers is almost bringing me to 50% power. That's quite a lot. But no, what I need to do is find all the Atlas lasers. I'm just going to uh, gloop them up to make it easy in future. And I think, looking at the power, it's time to fire them all into the base. Got to quickly change the time of day. There we go. Here we go, it's going to get loud. Goodbye, green base. Game. Whoa! Oh shit! Oh my! 
Oh, that is spectacular. Absolutely incredible. Look at that fire. I've got a screenshot of that. Holy shit. This is amazing. Just flying through it. It's annihilated the base. When the game actually recovers, because it's currently going at a very slow motion y type speed. Here it goes, the lasers are fading. Wow! I have never seen anything like that in Space Engineers. Oh, we've still got all the smoke rising. The game is catching up. I think it just left a hole in the asteroid as well. The green base is gone. But yeah, this is the Atlas Super Laser. It will be in the description below if you wish to download it and try it yourself. I really like this. It's not too overpowered because realistically you cannot do this in survival mode considering how many large reactors are there. And if you were to build maybe a couple large reactors, it's going to take forever and a day to charge all of these to get that kind of destructive power. But in creative mode, go nuts. These are just fantastic. Yeah. And I think just as a final one off, should we fire it towards the red ship? In Although I think the red ship took a load of damage as well. No, it seems to be roughly in one piece. I can fix that. I seem to be roughly in line. Fire the Atlas super lasers. Let's get out of this and actually fly over to here. They're charging up. Oh, that is a scary sound. Here they go. Ah, the Stylands before annihilation. So pleasant. Ah!